Science, nature, and the occasional singer songwriter. <laughs> no. Question. Good luck. Question one. What one word name combining the names of the two creatures concerned is given to the exceedingly bad-tempered and dangerous cross between Ursus Maritimus and Ursus Arctos. So we have Steve Kidd. Polar cat. No. Donny. Polar grizzly bear. No. One word. Oh, yeah, Ashton. Oh, Pisley. Pisley. No wonder the bad-tempered if you call them Pisley. Pisley. <laughs> Question two on science. In the night sky, which star is the eighth brightest visible from Earth and the brightest in the constellation Canis Minor? Steve Kidd. Procyon. Procyon. Nice word. Neil the Conquering Hero. Question three. Which transuranic chemical element is named after a sovereign island nation? Steve? Right, Dave? Nihonia. Nihonia, named after Japan. Nihon. Ah, yeah. David. Yeah. David. Yeah. Question four. What in medicine is the name given to inflammation of the lining of the inner wall of the abdomen? Steve? Peritonitis. Peritonitis. Shout up if you can. Yeah. Question 5. A metasyntactic variable is a specific word such as foobar or wibble identified as a placeholder in computer science and more specific computer programming. What is the most common metasyntactic variable in the programming language Python which also has a different meaning in relation to email communication? Chris? Spam? Spam. Question six. Although the concept was originally suggested by his assistant Arnold Wilkins, which scientist is generally credited with the invention of radar? Steve Kidd? No, that was old Wallace. Tony? Watson Watt. Watson Watt. Robert Watson Watt. Uh, Tony. I didn't put you on. There you go. Question seven. What medical condition is a rapid onset muscle weakness caused by the immune system damaging the peripheral nervous system? Chris? No. Lee? No. Chris? Mantineuro. No. Tony? Parkinson's disease. No. Michael? No. Steve? Lacey? Cystic fibrosis. No. Vince? That was Fousey. No. Norman? Neuralgia. No. I think. Ashton? Strength. No. I think we're not going to get it. Gwilin Barrett syndrome. No, I didn't know. No. No. Question 8. What type of sea snail is considered a delicacy in Chinese and Japanese cuisine? Lee? Abalone. Abalone. Question 9. In mathematics, what is the largest three digit square number? Steve? <laughs> Here we go. It, it's 1600. It's no. not. <laughs> Michael? Uh, 981. No. Mike Lees? 881. No. Tony? <laughs> No, Ashton. 969. No, Chris Curtis. 984. No, Dave. 969. No, Lee. 964. No, Chris. No, no, no. No, Rob. No, Vince. No, I think that's it, isn't it? 961. <laughs> Nobody actually said that.
Question 10. What type of subatomic particle can be strange flavoured? Chris? Quark. Quark. Strange flavoured bottom flavour has a name which sounds like a mating call of a potato duck. Quark. Question 11. What is the common name for Dinomis novozelandii, the 12 foot tall flightless bird which became ex. Oh. Dave? Great talk. No. Lose a point, Michael. Moore? Moore. Ah, no one. Yeah. Question 12. Also a brand of carburetta, what is the derived SI? Chris? Weber. Weber. SI unit of magnetic flux. I don't know exactly the science first. <laughs> Question 13. What type of non native mammal are currently breeding on Inch Conacon in Loch Lomond? Although the feral population in the Peak District are now. Steve Kidd? Bull? No, Ashton? Wallabies. Wallabies. Ah, really? Peak District in Ayrton. And so Steve Kidd minus one, Ashton two. I did feel a trick. Question 14. Which seabird has the Latin name Phalacrocorax aristotelis? A smaller but relative of the cormorants, it shares its name. Steve Kidd? Shag. Yeah, with an entry in Roger's Prophodisaurus. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Question 15. The chemical symbols for cobalt, protactinium, calcium, barium and sodium combine to form which 1978 song written and recorded by Ashton? Copacabana, Barry Manilo. 16. Born in 1918, who was the biochemist who won the 1958 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his work on sequencing amino acid chains in insulin and the joint award of the 19... Norman? Banting. No. Is that for Yeah. It's a... Uh, Just let me find Norman. Yeah. Tony? I want to see if that was what their sticks was. Um, no, I was saying Banting as well. Uh, okay. Michael? Fleming. No. Chris? Fleming. No. Oh. Your name. <coughs> Continue the question. A joint award of the 1980 Nobel Prize for his eponymous di diadoxy chain termination method for sequencing DNA molecules. Steve? Okay. No. Steve. Lee? Watson. No. I'm Clive? Best. No. No. no, Frederick Sanger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, he, he, used to work, he used to work with his son and his brains were not inherited. <laughs> well, 15 minutes. Good. Right, um, we have next after Sanger. Question 17. What is the largest land dwelling member of the weasel family? Must Ellie die? Chris? I'm Martin. No. Mike? No. No. Tony? Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, uh, yes. Alternative names include various other that. things and yeah. Howard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Norman. Uh, question 18. For what is the Becquerel of the derived S? Tony? Radio. Yeah, radioactivity, yeah. Question 19. Which moon, the sixth largest orbiting Saturn, has an internal global salty ocean? Mike Lee's. Phoebe. No. Try getting a reservation at Dorsha now. I've And uh, Steve. Enceladus. Sorry? Enceladus. Yes. Oh, That's what I thought you said. Moving straight on, we now come to uh, the follow-on question. So, science is followed by geography. So, we need to name both here. Follow-on question, name both a blockage of an artery in the lungs by a substance that has moved through the bloodstream from elsewhere in the body, and the designer of an unsuccessful South Devon atmospheric railway. <laughs> we have Ashton. Aneurysm King Moon is barking the river. No. That's Steve? And the Arism Bad Kingdom Brew. No. 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 
Kingdoms, no aneurysm. Lee. Embolism. Embolism Kingdom, Brad Rennell. <laughs> so, uh, Lee. <laughs> Covid right a lot after HD kid just got seven, but Ashton Davis making a little bit of a comeback. Going into the last round, uh, the last tilt, geography. Uh, I'm going to give you a rundown of the scores. Let's start at fifth place. With 19 points, it's Steve Kidd. In fourth place, on 22 points, it's Ashton Davis. In third place, with 23 points, one more than Ashton, it's Clive Dunning. In second place, on 24 points, Dave Bill. On 25 points, Michael McPartland, one point in front. So you can see 25, 24, and 23, and 22. They are the contenders with our geography. Geography, aka Atlas fodder. Here we go. Here goes Ashton. Go! Okay, good luck everyone. All set. Question one. Which two counties in the Irish province of Ulster are in the Irish Republic? We have uh, Ashton. Two counties. Two. Three. 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 Any two will do. Any two will do. Any two. Donegal and Cavan. Monaghan. Monaghan's in Monaghan. Right, okay. <coughs> you knew. I just got Donegal and Monaghan here. Bad question. Apologies. Very good, Ashton. That doesn't really any harm at this stage of proceedings. Question two. According to 2018 census figures, which is the most populous city in Europe which is situated in a landlocked country? Steve. Vienna. Wrong. No points. Go on, question's over. Michael. Uh, Zurich. No. Chris. Geneva. No. Oh, come on, is that what we Chris Curtis. Segrev. No. It's not London, but it's either. Uh, Mike Lees? Nothing. No. Ashton? Minsk. Minsk, correct. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. If we can just have a look at the overall score and see what that was to Ashton's scores. Michael's still on 25. Ashton way down there on 26. Reset, reset. Yeah, sorry. Must nobody be buzzing in on that one. Uh, question three. What English name was given to the Ruwenzori Mountains of East Africa? Lee? Mountains of the Moon. Correct. The Oracle of Triglington. Question four. The easternmost point of Europe lies on which island? Steve. Sackers. No. Norman. No. Ashton. Um, Rose. No. Michael. Uh, Samos. No. Steve Lacey. Cross. No. Mike Lees. Cree. No. Rob. No. Dave. No, I've done Cos as well. Chris. Okay. Sorry? Okay. No. Uh, uh, That's the catch. Uh, yeah, who's next, Lee? Navaya Zemlia. Yes. yes. <laughs> Navaya Zemlia. <laughs> the gravity of Cyprus took you all the wrong way. <laughs> Question five. In the Lake District, which pass connects the Valley of Borrowdale? Tony? Okay, Steve? Honesty. Honesty, yeah. Borrowdale to Borrowdale to Buttermere. Question six. Which Swiss canton joined the Federation in 1513 and was divided in 1597 into two parts known as the Inner and Outer Roden? Tony? Zig. No. Steve? Zero. No. Norman? Zug. No. Mike Lees? Geneva. No. Ashton? Zag. Sorry? Zag. No. Uh, Michael? Yes, sir. No. Clive? Ford. No. Chris Curtis? Vegas. 
No. Chris B. Uh, no. Lee. Yeah. No. Vince. Uh, no. Everybody's had a go, I think, haven't they? Appenzel. Uh, Question seven. What common term is used for a sky which has rows of altocumulus? Steve? Macro. Macro, yeah. Question 8. In which county would you find the city of Miami, Florida? Steve? Dade. Dade. Clear the conquering hero. I love that sound. Question 9. Which city was served by Dum Dum Airport until... Tony? Calcutta. Correct. Well, look at how bad that's behind there. I don't know, I've just played the scores. Right, Tony. Yeah. Yes, Norman. Question 10. Sounding as though it's edible, what is the only motorway service station on the M23? Steve? Travel. No. <laughs> Michael? Hamburger. No. Dave? Uh, sandwich. No. Okay. Rob? Peas pottage. Peas pottage. Peas on pottage. Keith Pottage were a millionaire. Who got that? Anything Keith Pottage. Oh, there you go. Question 11. Which EU member country reaches the lowest maximum altitude above sea level? Chris? Netherlands. No. Steve? A. Malton. No. Ashton? No, it looks like it. No, Dave? No. Michael? Belgium. No. Tony? Um, I was going for Belgium. Can't be going else. Oh, good question. No. Norman? Italy. No. Steve Lacey? No. Mike Lees? Tell me, no, it's not in the EU, and it's in, in the Apennine Mountains, but apart from that, good answer. Uh, Lee? Estonia. No. Uh, Chris Bean? Denmark? Yes. Flat sandy thing sticking out at the top of Germany. Question 12. Sharing its name with a river and town in Northumberland, which Suffolk River enters the North Sea at Southwold? Chris? No. Michael? Lopeth? No, Lee? <laughs> no, Steve? Tweed? No, Ashton? Al? No, Norman? Blythe. 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 Yeah. Blythe. Yeah. Blythe. <laughs> Question 13. On which Caribbean island, one of the Leeward Islands, was the former British naval base of English Harbour situated? That's Ashton. Antigua. Could it be a hat trick? Could be a hat trick. <laughs> Three in front, I believe. Yeah. Where are you now? I'm, I'm only level pegging when you're on this round, so <laughs> I'm still two or three behind you. Question 14. Named after a TV game show, in which US state is truth? That's Michael. New Mexico. Correct. New Mexico. Oh, oh useful. Did that put you back in front? No, behind. Cheers to Captain Jack. Nailed it, Michael. Question 15. Can you repeat that? 12,549 feet and first climbed to the summit in 1899 by the English geographer Sir Alfred Mackinder. What is the second highest mountain in Africa? Steve. No. Michael. Kenya. Mount Kenya. Michael goes in front by one point, I believe. Would you agree with that? I'm not sure. <coughs> Let's have a check. Uh, it's yes. Michael's in front by one point on 29, Ashley's on 28, Steve's on 25, Jason's on 24. Where are we up to? Question 16. Named for a Croatian seismologist, what name is given to the bone? Tony. Mohovovicic. Correct. Mohorovic, it's just community. Yes, Norman. Question 17. 
What is the largest city on the Japanese island of Hokkaido? Ashton. Sapporo. Sapporo. Ashton goes into the lead by one point on the trip. Thank you. Question 18. Which group of islands consists of Borkum, Juist, Nordene, Baltrum, Langyug, Spikerug, and Wangerug? Politically, they belong to Germany. Michael. Nicoland? No. no. Dave? I was going to say that. No. Lee? No, Friesen Islands. No. Steve? Friesen Islands. No. No. Uh, Ashton? South Friesen Islands. No. Tony? It's the West Friesen Islands, isn't it? No. no. Clive? Want to go East Friesen? Yes! <laughs> 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 South Frisian Islands are inland and don't exist. West ones are the Dutch ones, and the North oh, ones are the right. ones yeah, group, West which don't. Like, that's why I'm going to West. There is that guess then. Yeah. Uh, question 19. Which London borough contains Heathrow Airport? Chris. Hounslow. No. Dorney. Hillingdon. Hillingdon. Yes. And finally, it's a follow-on question, and we go back to music as being the first round. So, the dual answer, we need them both. What are the second largest town in terms of population in the Orkney Islands and the tenor aria from the opera Tarando, whose title translates into English as None Shall Sleep? Steve Lacey. Stromness and Dorma. Stromness and Dorma. Oh, wow. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Ashton Davis won that round with eight points. And if we actually go to the overall screens, uh, I'm going to read it there from, uh, let's look at, from 17, Lee Warburton in seventh place. In sixth place, only two points in front, Tony Wormsley. In fifth place, on a very healthy 24 points, but not a very good geography round, Dave Bill. In fourth place, two joint third place on 25 and 25, Steve Kidd and Clyde Billy. In second place, a fantastic effort. Uh, second place, where, where I'm looking at here. Uh, yes, from 29. Uh, his buzz sound, or his score sound, was, is just going to be a hat trick. It's a hat trick of wins on 30 points for Mr. Ashton Davis. <laughs> we were joking last time out that uh, you wait six years for one to come on and then two come on together. And uh, last time I said nothing could make me happier, now nothing could make me sadder. Well done, Ashton! Yay! A beautiful set for Mr. Tyson. I'll put the. Uh, I've made some terrible. I've made a huge mistake with some of these handicaps here. So uh, in just a moment, you'll see who's got the handicaps. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you very much, and that's well done.